hey everybody here i hope that the camera isn't tilted it is isn't it i can't uh always figure out how to make this tripod thing exact i have some things that i'm going to be taking back with me to school that i've not shown you guys that i got from the thrift store thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for watching if you enjoy these videos and vlogs, give it a thumbs up. I have a few pieces that I'm gonna bring to school that are kind of uh, decor-y. Well, they are decor -y. First thing being this little rug. It's like super uh, small, so it's perfect for like putting over a table or for over a small space. You could also hang it up on a wall and that looks really cute too. Um, I love the pattern. Um, this is just like absolutely beautiful to me and it reminds me of New Mexico. Um, shout out. And it was $275, 40% off. I think she rung it up something to like 110 somewhere around there. So that's crazy insane that's a steal because when i was in santa fe and i was looking at rugs like this um they were very expensive even for small ones like 45 dollars for a small rug like this so this is a good deal i don't know yet where i'm gonna put it in my dorm room maybe on the wall maybe on my dresser or on my little bookshelf we'll have to see okay the next thing that i got was this little flower vase. It's like made out of wood. Um, comment down below if your mom or you were into longer river baskets because that's just what this is giving me. This is just so cute. I, it'd be great for dry flowers, which we do have some here, but I'm probably gonna end up just having to dry some at school because I can't bring it with me on the train. Um, but it's just adorable. I'll probably put this on my dresser um, or on my bookshelf. It was $275. Once again, got it for 40% off, so somewhere in the dollar section. Alright, and then the last thing that I got, decori, which I was like, oh, they didn't really need this tailor. I really didn't. But come on, it's kind of cute. Um, it's like this little adorable coffee mug. Well, not really mug, coffee container. And it's got this button lid. And I actually will put my coffee in this. Right now it's in a giant Kirkland tub. Um, if you ever ha have had Costco coffee, it's like, well, they sell a bunch of different types of coffees, but mine comes in like the giant one that you'd get for like a church function serving. Because um, I just wanted to get a giant tub and then not have to go back and read purchase coffee however I do have some more coffee that I'm so excited about this coffee I actually love so like the Kirkland coffee it's like okay this is coffee it's not that great but this stuff look at this stuff so you guys can remember this coffee company bold three coffee this is their decaf uh, blend equals wings medium roast whole bean I'm gonna grind this up and then bring it in my coffee tub and this stuff is actually like joy coffee for me like I find it like actually really good to taste whereas my Kirkland coffee is kind of like it gets the job done but this is so good they have a great um, mission statement and goal for the brand of this coffee so if you're looking to support a coffee company that is not only christian but like serves an actual like purpose with their coffee and is certified fair trade then i will leave them linked down below i also forgot i have some more packages that i did not open up yet I have some books from thrift books, which I personally love thrift books. I haven't opened this because I got it right before school, which 
wasn't exactly the smartest idea in the sense that like, let's be honest, I can't really choke down any more reading when I'm trying to go through the curriculum that they're already giving us, which is very rigorous. Uh, I mean, I guess it depends on how many classes you're taking, but still. Let's just see what I got that I can read for another time. Okay. Oh, I believe I, we already have this book. Oh, yeah, I think we already have this book. Um, multiply by who? Francis Chan. Multiply by Francis Chan. It's on making disciples. Um, I feel very passionate about making disciples. I feel very passionate about mentoring. Um, it's things that I'm like, I, I don't know, I just learned last year, like towards the end of last year, that that's something that I really, really, really value. So I wanted to invest in more reading materials to help me kind of um, gain more strength in that area. And then I have Follow Me by David Platt. Um, a call to die and a call to live so David Platt is insanely amazing and I love his writing style so these two books let's just say will be fuego now it is on to getting ready for my day having my first class taking the train back to school and getting to the grind Speaking of grind, I will be making some of those beans right now.
guys, I got my backpack on. I am ready to go to the train. Um, my OOTD today is very simple, plain. I need something so that my legs don't chafe. And honestly, my arms will chafe with my backpack here if I don't have something that goes down towards my mid bicep. That was really very horrifyingly cringy. With that being said, you guys, uh, our vlogger camera did break, but I hope that you have enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up or comment down below if you want to have more of a talking vlog next time because I think I'm going to talk about um, some of my struggles with food lately and overthinking body image things and um, social anxiety maybe as well as like what I've been trying to do to help myself with like healthy eating and stewarding my body. So if you want to hear more about that, just leave a comment down below. Um, it's a safe place on our channel to talk about these things, guys. We're a non-judgmental group. And I love you all so much. I can't stress that enough. Like when I see you guys in the comments, it just like seriously melts and warms my heart. So if you have not dipped your toes in the comment section in a while, dip your toes in the water, okay? I love you all, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.